aseptic non-touch technique this is one of the skill in your OSCE now how can we avoid the common errors that you come across aseptic non-touch technique skill let's look at that here I'm going to demonstrate or show you each step by step maybe opening a dressing pack you're struggling or maybe hand washing timings how do I avoid the contamination of the aseptic pack or sterile area or gloving technique oh that's the biggest challenge that I have so maybe my hands are sweaty I'm not able to get the gloves on let's look at the steps and I'm going to show you some of the techniques where you can avoid these common errors and pass the aseptic non-touch technique skill let's look at that when the trolley is available for you is the trolley clean is it ready to use have you cleaned it many of you might forget to give a good clean to the trolley and directly place the equipment on top shelf that is the common error or might be an error people doing it okay you first let's talk you through the each step where you can avoid these errors number one you have to wear the apron and glove and then clean the trolley so wearing the apron Obviously, you have cleaned the hands first when you're entering and after cleaning the hands, you're wearing the apron. Make sure do not flap the apron. Open the apron nicely and covering full body and then you're going to wear the clean gloves. Non-sterile gloves. Check the expiry date, which is nothing but integrity of the gloves. Wear the clean gloves. Do you have a detergent wipe available for your clinel wipe? It's nothing but chlorexidine and detergent together. So is this wipe available? Whatever available wipe, check again the integrity of the expiry date of it and take one wipe. Open the wipe nicely and clean the trolley away from you first. And clean the sides if you have sides available on your trolley now how do you clean the sides I've seen the sidebars of your trolley few of you might clean the sidebar and hold the bar immediately so that is an error you can do so just please avoid that error clean the sidebar then rotate the trolley and clean make sure your wipe is completely open and then clean okay so once you clean please do not touch that area discard that wipe if required and use a fresh wipe and then clean the bottom shelf same as the top shelf discard the wipe now important here you might forget to remove the gloves and apron both gloves and apron must need to be removed before continuing to the next step so remove the gloves how am i going to remove the apron so do not touch the clothes when you remove the apron so pull the apron nicely forward in the central area and slowly snap the apron and then roll it and discard into the clinical waste bin without touching perform hand hygiene following the bleacher hand hygiene technique seven steps now you are ready to place the equipment on the bottom shelf so how are you going to what are the equipments you are going to choose to place into the bottom shelf now some of you might be choosing eight items some of you might be choosing six items some of you might be choosing seven items 
For me, I would choose six items. What are those? So one will be the dressing pack. Do not forget to check the integrity of the dressing pack. So some of you might be forgetting to check whether the dressing pack is dry, clean, what's the expiry date. That is critical. Okay. Once you verbalize that, place the dressing pack into the bottom shelf. And then you need a dressing. So dressing, check again the integrity whether it's dry, clean, expiry date, place in the bottom shelf. Then you need a saline sachet. This is saline. This is not a sterile water. So verbalize the expiry date of and see whether it is clear. And place that into bottom shelf. And then you might need an alcohol wipe or a chlorhexidine wipe. So whatever is available, this is a chlorhexidine wipe. If you have or I have an alcohol wipe here, place it into the bottom shelf. That is to clean the normal soul. Then you need one pair of clean gloves. Again, check the integrity and expiry date on the glove pack. And then you need one apron. Apron, you can nicely keep it onto the bottom shelf. We've got six items in the trolley there. Some people want to keep an additional sterile glove pack, which can be item number seven. And I've come across people putting the alcohol gel onto the bottom shelf. I would say please do not put the alcohol gel. If you're putting the alcohol gel at the bottom shelf, you have to verbalize that whether it's clean and ready to use. Okay, so I would avoid that because you always have the alcohol gel available for you on the bedside of the patient. So these are the six items you are ready now. Then you perform your hand hygiene. Now you proceed to patient. When you proceed to patient, you just need to introduce yourself and make sure patient is comfortable. Let's say this is James. I'm just going to introduce myself. James, I'm Gilbert. I'm here to do the wound dressing. Are you comfortable? Can I proceed? James, is it okay if I can close the curtains for you to maintain the privacy? I'm going to perform the hand hygiene if I have closed the curtains. James, I'm going to prepare the trolley. I'm going to prepare the dressing pack. I'm going to go through the dressing with you. I'm going to talk you through each step. Is that okay, James? Then I'm going to now ready to prepare the trolley. Before preparing the trolley, here is a common error people do, forgetting to wear the apron. So here I am going to, first thing I'm going to do is wear the apron. Again, pay careful attention not to flap the apron and make sure it's completely open. Once you have worn the apron, now next step is because I've already alcohol gel before I put the apron on, I shouldn't need to alcohol gel again unless I've touched somewhere else. So you might need to alcohol gel. Straight away, I'm going to pick up the dressing pack. Here is a challenge a lot of people have. When they're opening the dressing, they come very close to the trolley. And next thing, the packaging touching the trolley. This is where you are contaminating the aseptic field already. Just please make sure you step back a little bit and open the dressing pack without touching the trolley. Carefully open the dressing pack. Sometime you need to peel it like that. So when you're opening the dressing pack, Make sure packaging again doesn't touch you or doesn't touch your fingers and gently slide it into the trolley. Okay, and I'm going to put this packaging just into the bottom shelf for now. You don't need to put it into the bin, so just uh, leave it there. So now this is a critical moment. I've just touched the packaging and uh, you might be directly tempting to open the dressing pack. So this is where I would say no, no. So first thing I need to do here is perform my hand hygiene. Make sure hands are clean. Because the dressing pack is sterile, I'm just going to open it now. So I need to, I need to make sure it is aseptic as possible. 
So how do I open the dressing bag? A lot of people think hundred times, where do I open, which way to open? So simple method is, you can touch the dressing bag from outside, there's nothing wrong, okay? So you just use the corners of the dressing bag and pull it away from you. Sometime, this part might not be tucked in, it might, you just need to open, okay? Only touch the corners, do not touch excessively. You do not need to wear the gloves to open the dressing pack. Do not use the clean gloves to open the dressing pack. Okay, just alcohol and then open the dressing pack. So when you're opening, spread it open. And then make sure your dressing pack is completely open. And make sure you spread it open. All right. In this dressing pack, you can see the glove is directly on top of the orange bag. Common error people do touching the glove directly or orange bag, trying to move the orange bag and then uh, contaminating the aseptic field or sterile field. So best way to move the glove so you can get to the orange bag is, I'm going to show you a technique here in this particular dressing pack where you can pinch hold the glove and move it away some dressing pack you have directly the orange or yellow bag or white bag on top there is no issue but in this dressing pack where you have glove on top of it what i need to do next before i go to pick the orange bag which is critical so i must need to alcohol gel my hand or decontaminate my hand Now I'm going to pick the orange bag. Okay, this is orange bag. Sometime you have a yellow or white bag. I said, how are you going to pick it? You're not going to get the forceps many times. So what you need to do is use these two fingers as forceps. Only directly go into the orange bag. Do not touch anywhere else. So hands are now clean. Directly go to the orange bag and pinch hold. And do not flap. Okay. Bring it to the side a little bit. Lift it up. Make sure it doesn't touch anywhere else. I am right handed. I am going to hold the orange back exactly same where I've held it on the right hand fingers. Okay. Now see how I'm going to open it. I can gently insert my hand in. Now whole idea here is your orange back top should be completely aseptic shouldn't be touching it okay another common error people do your hands are here on this corner and you're trying to rearrange the field and your orange bag is touching everywhere that can be avoided what you need to do is spread the fingers so that so you have a control of the bag so now you can rearrange the all the things that you have in the dressing pack gloves, the sterile sheet, and actual gauze. Okay. Right. Sometimes these gloves might be on in the sleeve. They come in another paper sleeve. You can just separate them and open this sleeve here. Okay. So now, what you need to do is turn the bag inside out. Always work it outside the aseptic field. And take the sticky bit off. And attach, moving the trolley by through the leg. And attach closer to your patient. And make sure your bag is open. In case, I have come across people struggling to attach the orange bag or any bag so that you come across in your dressing pack so it falls off if it falls off just leave it open in the bottom shelf okay don't need to uh, try to stick that so next thing once i have got that done so next thing i'm going to do is cleaning the saline that's the next step i don't need to clean the hands because i'm touching outside here i'm cleaning the saline open the 
alkyl Y per chlorhexidine in Y. You do have a black dot on your saline. That is where you're going to be tearing your saline sachet. So you're going to clean that end first and verbalize that. You're going to clean it for 30 seconds and dry it for 30 seconds. So you don't need to wait for 30 seconds. So just verbalize, clean it for 30 seconds and verbalize that, okay, drying it for 30 seconds. So you don't need to leave the saline anywhere straight away. You can tear it at the black dot and pour it directly into the gully pot. Make sure your hands or sachet is not touching the aseptic field. Next thing you're going to pick up is the dressing. How are you going to open the dressing? Are you going to tear it? Absolutely no. So what you need to do is gently peel it open. Check which side is peeling. This side is not peeling. Then it will be this side. Okay. So gently peel it. And please do not touch the actual dressing. Make sure you work this outside the aseptic field, not on top of it. So gently tear it. Prepare it. At least half of the dressing is tone which packages tone so, so gently reverse it on top of the dressing and gently peel it further if needed to fall and wait for that to fall okay so and then the package either you can put in the orange pack just leave it on the bottom shelf okay i've got the clean gloves clean gloves are not required to be used because mostly your dressing might be removed if your dressing is not removed you alcohol gel your hand, wear the clean gloves, remove the dressing. At this point, this is the right time to do it. The wound might be open. Check that. So next step would be I'm going to perform my hand hygiene. Wearing the sterile gloves. Okay, here comes a lot of challenges with people. They're not going to provide you the forceps to pick the sterile gloves. So you got to work it out. How are you going to pick up the sterile gloves? Again, you make sure your hands are clean. I just performed the hand hygiene. Hands are aseptic. Use the two fingers similar to forceps and directly go on to first glove. Okay, some gloves are folded, some gloves are directly on. When you're directly on, make sure gently only hold where it's going to touch your finger. So now see how I'm going to pick the first sterile glove. So pick it there. It is folded. You can hold the folded part and stretch it a little bit. That's the little finger you can see and that's the thumb. Figure out where the thumb is and gently put the hand without touching anywhere and make sure your thumb is on and pull it without letting it go. Look my hands, I'm only touching inside part, not the outside part of the glove. This is going to touch my skin. So I'm going to let it go. Sometimes two fingers go into one, don't try to do anything leave it as long as first three fingers are going in thumb is going in most positive for you so, right once you have the sterile gloves in one hand how are you going to put this second glove on so make sure the other hand is away from this area which has not got gloves on do not touch it you're going to contaminate the aseptic field have the gloved hand where you can touch the area because this is now a sterile glove and you are going to keep things aseptic. You can move the glove to check where the thumb is. So I'm going to check where the thumb is. I can see this is thumb. All right. That's the little finger. So I, I can't get my fingers into the fold. So I'm going to give it a little squeeze. People say, is it acceptable? Yes, because you got sterile gloves, if required. Many times might not be required because I want to get my fingers into the fold. Okay, gently put the fingers in. And now see how I'm going to put my other hand in. I'm going to step back a little bit and gently put my other hand. And again, 
I'm going to make sure my thumbs are in. Okay. Now look at my this hand. I'm stretching it a little bit. So does my sterile gloved hand does not touch my skin. And if you see the outside part, I am touching and letting it go. So this is the part touching sterile to sterile. Okay, if you put the finger there and pull it, your sterile glove is getting contaminated touching the skin. Just be careful that. Now, if the two fingers are gone into one, so adjust it, pull it and recorrect it and show that you got the gloves covering full of the hand. If you look at my gloves are covering 95% of the hand up to the wrist, then it's acceptable. Okay, now, when I have got the gloves in both hands, now I can readjust my equipment. So I can readjust my dressing where I want. I can separate the gauze quickly with the gloved hand. Rather than doing in the orange or white bag, I've got five gauzes. Sometimes some dressing pack will have two sterile sheets. This dressing pack has two sterile sheets. Sometime you will have one sterile sheet. You only need one. If you look at actually practically this is the for extending your aseptic field. This is kind of waterproof. You don't need to worry about that. You just need one of these. Just remember to extend your aseptic field when you are ready. Okay. At this point if you look at. I've got saline in there. I've got dressing in there. I've got gauze in there. I have got the sterile sheet where I can extend my aseptic field. You've got gloved hands. Please be careful. Do not touch your gloves anywhere outside the aseptic field. Next step, which is critical. I'm going to pick up the sterile sheet. And I'm going to extend the sterile sheet. Here common errors people do, when you're extending you don't realize your fingers, sterile gloves are touching the patient hand. Just be watchful of that. You need to be careful your sterile gloves shouldn't be touching anywhere. You don't need to tuck it under the hand if you don't need to. You're extending your aseptic field, just keep it on top of the hand. Careful attention has to be paid for not to touch the gloved hand anywhere else. So some, some of you might want to do, hold it there in the middle and then put it over. If you want to put it under, so I'll give you a technique. When you are picking up from there, hold it and see my gloves are completely covered and then you can tuck it under. So I prefer keep it on top and making sure is not touching anywhere. This is to extend your aseptic field. This is not for exudation. Why accidentally if you touch your hand, your hands are still sterile. Now next step in aseptic non-touch technique would be your clean hand, dirty hand. So don't get confused. What's the clean hand? Clean hand which goes to the sterile field. Dirty hand which is going to the wound or sterile hand, non-sterile hand. A lot of people try to say clean hand and dirty hand so you can remember. So now picking up the gauze, pick up the gauze from the aseptic field and dip into the saline only little. Okay, don't need to dip completely and squeeze and pass it on outside the aseptic field without touching gloves to glove or fingers to finger, corner to corner. Some people prefer to drop it. So I prefer to hold it from the side. And then when you're wiping, this is my dirty hand now. When you're wiping, wipe it one stroke, single stroke to the length of the wound. Do not go over again. One stroke, discard directly into the orange bag without touching your finger. Now this is a dirty hand. Now again with a clean hand, dip, squeeze, pass it on corner to corner and wipe single stroke, discard. It depends on the length of the wound. If the length of the wound in this way, 
you have to wipe from clean to dirty this <clears throat> because it's a simulation situation you might not see clean and dirty wound side so you have to wipe the length of the wound so now i'm going to dry the wound same as cleaning pass it on dry pass it on and dry now next step would be applying the dressing this is a dirty hand this is a clean hand okay i'm going to pick up the dressing with the clean hand now again people ask me question can i touch with the other hand? yes of course because the dressing is covered at this moment so inside part of the dressing please do not touch so hold it with the both hand and give it a squeeze so we can gently open the dressing cover so and make sure you inside part you don't touch separate it and apply to the wound one side and attach it and then fold it part gently flick it and then apply the other part as well okay make sure tap the sides and it's completely covered on the wound next step i would suggest remove the sterile sheet which you extended put that directly on the saline okay and then remove your gloves and wrap the dressing with uh, everything and then take your orange or yellow or white bag off and put that in the bag and put all the waste in the bag make sure it is tidy and neat okay so if you have not used any items you cannot put them back they're going to be unsterile now so you have to put that into the orange bag That's please do not take the additional item which you are not going to be using so wrap the orange bag gently and then move the trolley into the side i'm going to move into the clinical waste bin i'm going to put that in the clinical waste bin without touching now next step i'm going to remove my apron so my hands are dirty at this moment i shouldn't be touching the clothes and removing my apron so i should be once i have discarded the waste into the clinical waste bin i'll be removing the apron from front pull it forward and gently remove the apron and discard that next thing i'm going to be doing is alcohol gel my hand and make sure your patient is comfortable leave the call bell if you want complete the documentation that you require there's normally there is no physical documentation you just need to verbalize that you're going to update the care plan nursing notes and then you're going to say i'm going to alcohol gel my hand i'm going to take the trolley back to the clinic and clean the trolley and then leave it for next use okay that's where you complete your aseptic non-touch technique i'm going to recap a few important things where people struggle one of them is common is picking up the orange bag and or any bag sterile bag which you have within the dressing pack second one is the gloves people struggle with and when you're opening the dressing pack not realizing you're contaminating the aseptic field these are the areas you have to pay careful attention to make sure that okay you have to practice these areas so that you do not contaminate the aseptic field this is health skills training coming for you do not forget to subscribe the youtube videos and we are going to show in our next video another skill where people might be struggling in we have our OSCE online learning platform where you can learn OSCE skills. You need a thorough training. Please do not forget to enroll onto our classroom training. So we are going to take care of you and we're going to teach you every step, every skill in detail. So see you soon. Thank you.